What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it in American Truck Simulator, and uh, we're taking the bull hauler out today with the uh, Freightliner FLB cab over. Old school truck. This is one I customized, put a little chrome on it, so I gave it some straight pipes, tall stacks. Uh, not a bad looking truck. I really like it. I kind of dig the color, too. The, the color is a little different. Uh, kind of similar to a uh, another Freightliner um, bull hauler that I've seen before, so pretty neat. They are around. Like the only cab overs that I've seen out and about uh, nowadays have been in uh, like cattle service, so or uh, bull hauling. Anyway, uh, we're down around Redding. We're yeah, we're just a little bit south of Redding. We're going to be going up to uh, Lakeview, Oregon. So let's hop in the truck and uh, we'll get going. Alright, there we go. I think we're set, right? Looks good to me. Uh, let's pull the uh, pull GPS up. We'll get headed that way. Nice. I love the sound of this truck. It's uh, 525 horsepower N14 12 plus 1 transmission. So, changed it up a little bit today. I'm probably going to be rusty on this transmission because all I've driven like for the past uh, several weeks is 10 speeds but I put something uh, different in this one because it's not governed so we'll be able to, uh, to open her up and go here we are all right back there okay we're good who is excited for September the 7th if you didn't know that's when Wyoming is supposed to be released for American Truck Simulator, and I'm absolutely stoked. I can't wait to uh, get in a brand new state. Been looking forward to it for a long time. I honestly thought it was going to come out a long time ago. Uh, I didn't think it would be this this late into the year uh, before it came out. So uh, a little bit surprised by that. I just had the wrong impression, I guess. But either way, I am definitely looking forward to that state. It's gonna be a blast to drive in. You'll get to do a lot of bull hauling in Wyoming. They do some ranching up there. All right, let's get with it. We'll uh, we'll enjoy the the sound of the engine. It's such an, a nice sounding engine. I love the the N14. I think it sounds amazing. So uh, we're gonna try to enjoy that as much as possible. While we're on the road. Yeah, right, let's see if anything's coming. Mirror's blocking me, I can't tell. Alright, what are these dudes doing up here? They stopped at the uh, four way, but no one's wanting to go. Alright, well, y'all can go sometime today. I mean, don't no one get in a hurry, right? <laughs> don't no one get in a hurry, seriously. All right, I guess we'll go around them. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they do either, right? Well, it looks like they had a wreck, maybe. Glad they decided to get their stuff straightened out, right? That's good. Oh man, she sounds so good. This to me is like the epitome of pure trucking. 
Absolutely. It absolutely is. The sound, the feel, the cab over, everything. Like, this is... This is like trucking at its finest, is it not? I mean, seriously. Oh, we got the light, all right. Try to get too crazy. We won't be slinging our cattle around back there. Let's see if we go in. Yes, I knew it. Knew it. That's all right. Getting gear. There you go. Nice way station. I don't think I've been in here before. I think it's the first time. This is part of the new stuff they did um, with the California revamp, right? All right, which way we go is the question. Like either or, nice. All right, let's see how much cows weigh. Six three thousand eight forty eight. That's not bad at all. Shoot. Not bad, but nice, nice way station. I really, I like that one a lot. That's really cool. Take a look at it here a bit. Let's see what these jack legs are doing up here. Pepsi, come on, man. Seriously. All right, let's just see if we can get around these guys. There we go. Now we should be able to get it. either maybe maybe starting at seven i might start doing it and you know definitely eight but this depends it's so it's so highly dependent on the truck and uh what you're doing oh 
Oh man, she sounds so good though. Damn, I love driving this truck. Estes. The last time I drove for Estes in the Volvo, it was a nightmare. That truck was so hard to drive. The clutch on it was horrible. So lane. Let's see what we got here. Enjoy some of that M14 ASMR, right? I've been on this road. Oh, what is this? Wind up resetting the time. I don't want this to be a night trip. I mean, I don't mind driving at night. I'll drive at night plenty of times, but uh, I want you guys to be able to enjoy the scenery as much as possible. We'll keep going with it because uh, sunsets are nice, like late evening, but. I just wish the, uh, the trucks, like, when you're coasting along like that, 
I wish they had a little more cab noise to them, like wind and uh, rattling and uh, stuff like that. I think it would help the immersion for me, especially in a truck like this. In an older truck, it needs to have a lot of rattling and, and jostling around and stuff like that. I can tell you guys now, if there's any of you that are thinking about getting American Truck Simulator or, or wanting to get it, if there's any way you can get a shifter if you don't have one. If you don't have one, you need a shifter. Um, and I don't mean literally like you need one to play the game. You can play without a shifter all day long. It's not that. It's just... When I got my shifter, it took the immersion to a whole, whole new level. Like, it stepped it up so much, it's insane. And I played ATS a lot. I played ATS for a long time with the, uh, a keyboard and mouse. And then finally, I took the plunge and I bought a wheel and uh, pedals and, and got a shifter at the same time. And man, I am telling you right now, that was such a damn good investment one of the best gaming investments I think I've ever made. Like, I enjoy this so much, and I enjoyed it before, too. I, like I said, I've played this for a long time with a keyboard and a mouse, because I just like the game, but... Man, getting, getting a wheel, like... And sh definitely the shifter. Of course, I mean, the, the wheel's kind of a given, right? I mean, you sure as hell... Are gonna play the game with a shifter and not have a wheel, but uh, the shifter absolutely just really uh, took it to a whole new level. Oh wow, look at that! Beautiful, right? All right, there we go. Went ahead and made change uh, change in time. It's 7 a.m. I think we just crossed into uh, Oregon, right? Did we not? I think we did. The speed limit went up, so we had to. Oh man, doggone it. I hate it when they do that. That never fails, right? They busted my bees, seriously. Why? <laughs> it never fails. Same with any red light, really. You go through all the gears, get slowed down and stopped, and then all of a sudden it, it decides it wants to go green. 
I'm like, that is so lame. I don't know. I can't complain too much. It gives you a chance to go through the uh, gears again, so. drive though man I'm glad I took it glad I took it I just don't usually do long runs uh, for videos because then you have to edit and I don't know you guys let me know what you think uh, do y'all want a full run like do y'all prefer the full runs you prefer it edited down uh, do you like commentary you just want to listen to the engine I mean I could do uh, I could just do like a no commentary run sometime too which I've already kind of thought about that Damn, these curves are a little sharp for 45 and an 18 wheeler. I'm sorry, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. I, I don't know. It just seems like sometimes with the compression of the map and everything, you get to go in uh, too fast in a truck in this game, it starts feeling really arcadey to me. Starts to lose a little bit of that uh, immersion realism stuff like that when you're like weaving and bobbing through curves. Looks like we got it. Beautiful intersection, man.
Look at Grandpa coming by us. Oh yeah, he changed his mind on that. He's still trying. You know what? Let's give him a hard time. Not today, Grandpa. Not today. <laughs> You're not coming around us today, dude. Actually, I had a neighbor who had a truck like that a long time ago when I was a kid. My alarm on my phone is going off. I have no idea as to why. Why Why is Why is 10 a.m. important today? I don't know. This is from, this is an alarm from another day. I have no clue why, uh, why 10 a.m. was important. Oh, Grandpa's coming by us again. No, dude. Ah, there he goes. There he goes. You know what? We'll hop in behind him. We're going right, to have to turn anyway. Had something suggested to me the other morning on YouTube I haven't seen in years, and I'm glad I found it because I really enjoyed watching it. Who remembers uh, G.I. Joe, the old cartoons from back in the uh, 80s, from like 83, uh, 84, 85, 86, I think up to 87. I didn't like the newer ones that came out later on. I, I like the ones in the 80s. But uh, they stream those. Hasbro streams those on YouTube. And uh, I've been watching them. Man, that has brought back so many memories. You just, you can't even imagine. Like, I have so enjoyed watching those. And I'll be honest, like, as a kid, I didn't fully appreciate those. I didn't really fully appreciate them. They actually have a pretty good story and plot behind them. I think so. I enjoyed them. I've really enjoyed them. My daughters have been asking me, like, Dad, what are you watching? I'm <laughs> like, I'm watching a cartoon. They're like, did you watch that when you were a kid? I'm like, I sure did. Every day after school, G.I. Joe came on. Watched it religiously. I had all kind of G.I. Joe toys. Absolutely, I loved it. Oh, come on, get in. Oh, I missed it. I should have gone to fifth. I wasn't even thinking on that. Well, luckily, we didn't tear our truck up. But yeah, they're like, Dad, are you watching a cartoon? I'm like, yeah, I did. I watch cartoons anyway. Like, I don't have a problem with that. There's several that I like watching. But, uh, man, that brought back a lot of memories of a 10-year-old Spur watching uh, G.I. Joe, even before that, too. Even before that. Like I said, I was a G.I. Joe nut. I had all kinds of stuff. I remember going to Walmart back when it was actual, like the regular Walmart, not the super Walmart, right? But the regular old Walmart. The very back left corner of the store was the toy department. And uh, they always had a, a, a decent G.I. Joe section, right? And uh, I'd always go through the action figures. I always go through the action figures trying to find a good one because usually they had you know they had tons that either you already had or just weren't that great but we were finding like uh crimson guard soldiers and stuff like that and being so stoked to find those and then having to convince my mom to uh to buy it the things were only like, what, four or five dollars a piece? Like, they weren't that much. They weren't a whole, well, I guess they were. For an action figure back then, probably five bucks, five or six dollars was a lot. I don't think they were that high, though. I think they were more around four, maybe. If even that much, maybe it was three dollars and something, like close to four. Like I said, we're talking, uh, you know, 83, 84, 85, 86. Up till I was a little over, uh, a little over the age of ten. And then, and then when you start getting into your early teens, you get into the destructive phase, right? And uh, I started using firecrackers on all my uh, 
G.I. Joe vehicles and soldiers and stuff like that, and I really, really regret that now. That was so damn dumb. If I had kept up with that stuff, oh, man. If I had just taken care of it and kept up with it. I had Transformers, too. I had the original Soundwave, and uh, my mom sold it in a, in a garage sale for like 50 cents. Couldn't believe it. That thing was worth like, like several hundred dollars. And she sold it in a garage sale. I was so upset when I found out about that. I had uh, sound wave. I never had a lot of the uh, Transformers. But I had sound wave. I had uh, three of the Dinobots. Don't ask me their names. I couldn't tell you. I had the T-Rex, the uh, Triceratops and uh, Swoop, I remember Swoop, I had that one too. And I'm trying to think, what else did I have? Like, I never had a lot of Transformers. I like Transformers a lot. I, that was another, that was the other cartoon that was uh, paired with uh, G.I. Joe, you know, it was Transformers. Both of those were really popular back then. And He-Man, He-Man at the same time. I never had any uh, He-Man action figures, so. I, that was another one. I watched it, but I, I wasn't that into the toys. It was like all G.I. Joe for me. I still got some of the figures. Uh, my parents have a case of the figures back at their house. Uh, packed away. I looked at them a few years back. They're in pretty decent shape. I mean, they've been played with, but... They survive. They survived the, uh, the firecracker onslaught, you know? <laughs> Now is our entrance. I completely, completely jacked that up. Those people behind me are pissed. Anyway, one of my users uh, made a comment the other day, said that they were uh, wanting to get this, and I'm telling you right now, I tell anyone, if you don't have this and you've got a system that can handle it, absolutely get it. This is a must have. If you're into simming and stuff like that, this is a must have. This is the chillest, most relaxing game ever. Like, I just, I love playing it. Just uh, driving, you know, just cruising along and uh, enjoying. You know, we're going to play it safe since it's been such a long trip. We're not going to take any time to uh, back up. It's not going to be pretty, but it'll be all right. We're just parking it here for a bit. Good enough. Good enough for government, right? All right, what do we got? Uh, 490 miles, 25 hours. Wow, 25 hours for 490 miles. I can do that with my eyes closed. Uh, let's see, we got uh, $10,680, 1,002 XP. XP doesn't matter. I level 74. I cheated like no tomorrow in this one. I did start a regular, uh, a regular profile, a legit profile. I was kind of thinking about doing a career playthrough where uh, we start from scratch and then buy our own truck and all that. Let me know what you guys think. Might be something fun to do. Something a little bit uh, different. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment. Uh, on the road to 500 subs, just hit uh, 430. So really excited about that. Looking forward to uh, growing more. So we'll catch you guys on the road next time in ATS. Peace.